Hey guys, this is Jake with my Bring Back, and in this tutorial series, we're going to be learning how to program with JavaScript. Let's do this. All right, guys, so you guys are probably complete newbies to the JavaScript language, and that's all right. That's exactly where we're going to start off. If you are kind of more experienced with JavaScript, you may want to jump a few tutorials ahead to get into more advanced features, methods, and stuff that we'll be doing later on in JavaScript. Now, for you guys who are new to JavaScript, the one thing that you want to keep in mind is JavaScript is completely interactive within the HTML and the CSS of, of web pages. Okay, and what that means we'll explain later, but basically what I'm saying is if you don't have any HTML or CSS knowledge, well, I'll guide you through most of it, but it would be beneficial to know a little bit about HTML before you jump in and start handling some of the JavaScript. Now, what JavaScript is, I googled this and I found like this sweet JavaScript enabled like interactive ear, and I was sitting here thinking, holy cow, like this, this is nuts, like my my concha like I shoot my q-tip like way down into this ear canal it probably hits this eardrum every once in a while but I mean unbelievable well anyways anyways off topic a lot but JavaScript is basically a lot of these methods and stuff we'll be working with in later tutorials but you'll see as you move your mouse over certain parts of the ear you'll see different pop-ups different alerts we can even go over here and like click on this thing and it gives us like a magnification gives us like secondary um, annotations which are pretty cool and so basically all this stuff that you see on screen is JavaScript and the definition of JavaScript well I don't know if you'd call it the definition but the definition it relates to the client side like what we see within a web browser so as as you look at screen what is happening on screen so a lot of times people use these for like calculators if you're doing business applications and you want to have like an on-screen like graph that shows different stuff um, that uh, the users input it into your fields and so on and so forth. And so what's nice about JavaScript as opposed to some of the other scripting languages out there is JavaScript is universally accepted by well, I should say 99% of the web browsers out there and the technologies. So when we're developing these um, your user should already have these within his web browser. And that's why it's basically a client-side language. So you'll notice like when you go to your, your web browser, and if you guys have some of the latest web browsers, you're not going to have these errors. But let's say you have like IE4, Internet Explorer 4, or something like that. You, whenever you go to some web page that's like, you know, developed with JavaScript, some of the newest technologies, it's going to be like, hey, JavaScript is not, not enabled on this site. We can't actually read a lot of the code that it's doing, or it just plain won't work. So anyways, JavaScript has some powerful functions that uh, that we'll be going through and I guess in this first tutorial why don't we just go ahead and jump in and uh, start using the online editor that I found for you guys and uh, we'll, we'll jump in so what I want you guys to do is go to jsbin.com alright so that's up here in the in the URL and within jsbin you'll probably come to the page and it'll have like all these different tabs enabled up at the top and this is basically where we're going to develop our HTML, our CSS, and our JavaScript all in one place. And then we're going to run and compile our code, and it's going to display it on a web page. Now, a lot of other people, you can go out there and you can just use a text editor, or you could even use like Notepad and uh, and run it within your browser. But I want to use some of the latest and greatest, some of the cool stuff that Remy actually developed uh, open source, which is JSBin. So when you come to the page, you'll have HTML, CSS, JavaScript, console output. We're going to go ahead and just go ahead and click the HTML, the CSS, and we'll disable the console for now. So we're only going to we're only going to have the JavaScript and the output visible right now because that's all we need for our first program. Now you see that we have the JavaScript on the left and the output on the right. Over on the left in the JavaScript box, we're simply going to write document dot write parentheses with quotations, and we're going to write share this video alright so our user is gonna basically get prompted with something and you'll see that once we put this into our program we now have an output of share this video now it showed up automatically within this output because I have the auto run the JavaScript auto run the JavaScript enabled alright 
So if you want to go ahead and disable that, you're going to have to click the run every time. And uh, once you click run, then it will show up as your output. All right. The other thing you can do is you can click this little pop out button. This allows us to see it on a, on a web page, basically. So it's not in that little output box that will show the whole web page and what it looks like. So that's our first program. Basically, we're taking a string of text and we're displaying it on the screen. We're, we're writing it to the screen using JavaScript. So pretty simple, but we're going to learn piece by piece and how to actually use and develop within JavaScript. And it should be pretty sweet, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Share the video, like it, and uh, we'll look forward to uh, showing you guys the next step in the second video. See you guys later.